one of the things I wanted to show you today is we have not come up with a name for this, but I can tell you the history of this. And I have been absolutely, totally perplexed as to why this device is not being used in hospitals across the nation, across many nations. I'm perplexed why it's not used in uh, doctor's offices as well as child care centers, especially when you have germs that can, in hospitals that can cause death. You can walk in healthy, you can walk out with these germs, and it's very serious. And I wish this thing would get more attention for what its capabilities are. Where this started from was back when we had the anthrax scare here in the United States, one of the issues people justifiably were concerned with was anthrax per se as a spore, and when it's intact on something, is nowhere near the danger it is. Like an example in the U.S., we had where they would open an envelope and now the bacterium goes throughout the air. And there was a real concern as to what can we do to keep people from getting sick and dying. And it went, you know, one of the things we were thinking about, well, wait a minute, uh, they call it Bacillus anthraxis, but that's anthrax. And when we did our FDA ap ap application for our V254 wound lamp, I was thinking, wait a minute. UVC will easily take care of this. So I actually contracted to create a device, and the purpose of this was that where you have bacterium and other types of pathogens in the air, you need to kill them. And so this is not that complicated. And so for lack of a better term, I call it our big blaster, or I can call it big birth, or I can call it big John that stayed down in the cave when it caved in and saved everybody. Uh, the song, if you're familiar with that. But I wanted to tell you what this is and how it's used. This is nothing but a mobile canister. Where its practical application is, is if you were on an isolation ward in a hospital, or you were in a place in the hospital where you were disposing of things that had possibly had pathogens in them. If you were in a child care center, and all the kids are coming down with strep throat, so you know it's only a matter of time. There's ways you can use the big blaster and actually work to prevent the illnesses. And again, in the hospital, especially with infection control, prevent patients from getting sicker when they come to the hospital. So this device right here, as you can see, it's mobile. We actually have eight bulbs here. Seven of the eight are UVC. They're 150 watts. I have one bulb here as an odor eliminator, and where this gets to be important, so we put it in, if you're in an area where people are cleaning up and there are contaminated items, especially in a hospital, this actually modifies the odor so it becomes where it's not so bad. But basically what you would do is you would roll this in, say the kids were out at lunch, you would roll it into the room, you would turn it on, we have some little devices here. It has a safety feature, so once you hit the go, and I'll demonstrate it to you, then it gives you time to get out of the room or wherever it is so the ultraviolet can go off and start the, the, uh, the killing process. So that's what we would set it up for. And then if you need to move to another room, you can do that move to another area in the room. One of the things we do at MedFax is we can actually custom engineer these for you based upon what your needs are. As an example... One of the things we have is how much energy does it take to kill certain germs? I wanted to show you here, if we were in this room, which is a larger room, but from here to right back here, maybe, uh, maybe five, six feet. Well, if we have sufficient energy right here, we're going to kill everything between here and all the way down to here, including everything in the air. These types of devices... Duke Medical Center is one that really pioneered using these things in the uh, orthopedic surgical suite. And there is a real danger when you take a patient and you expose their circulatory system to airborne pathogens, that circulatory system gets it and the, the germs can go anywhere. One of my things has been, many of you may have heard of uh, the great basketball player Wilt Chamberlain. One of the things that happened with Wilt Chamberlain was he was basically a very healthy person. He had a dental procedure. Well, I don't know if you know this or not, but one of the worst places for bacteria is the human mouth. 
And any time you're doing some type of process that exposes inside the mouth the circulatory system where you're cleaning or where you're extracting and you create an area where the germs can go directly into the circulatory system, that's dangerous. Now, I do not know that was specifically what happened to Wilt Chamberlain, but one of the things they talked about is he'd had a dental procedure uh, a couple of weeks earlier, or yeah, I think it was a couple of weeks earlier, and he actually ended up with a heart infection. And that is a danger. The dental profession is well aware of this, and that's why you do your swish and so on and so forth. We also are working on a device where while you're actually doing a dental procedure, the light can go off, the UV, and it's actually killing not only surface area but anything that's in the mouth, just to make it safer. But what you would do with this is there's some very definite formulas. You can go to our website. We can tell you all about it. When you put these bulbs on and you turn it on, you will see this light, and we will, you will see this actually occur. The light's going out, and it's literally killing everything. Now, with, you figure the formula out, how far you are the distance. There is no if, ands, buts about it. You turn the light on, you go back, and you culture, and you see what types of pathogens, or if you have any alive there. We put the formula with you. You do that. Now, if we were to put this in our warehouse, which is 20,000 square feet, 15 or 18 feet tall, we're going to have to move it around multiple places and do multiple exposures before we can eradicate it. But it's a question of what's your intensity, the power, and the distance you are away. That's how you determine it. But we would turn this thing on, leave the room, let it zap, you come back in, and it has literally not only killed everything on surface areas, it's killed what was in the air also. And that's one of the reasons that we have this. I am very excited about it because I think overall it can do lots of things to cut down on sickness, death, and disease for many people that are exposed to pathogen.